Hello, I'm John Jensenius, a lightning safety specialist for the National Lightning Safety Council. It's a question I'm asked frequently. Why are men struck by lightning more frequently than women? Before I try to answer that question, let's first take a look at the numbers. During the past 10 years, lightning claimed the lives of more than 200 men and boys, while only about 60 women and girls were killed. Statistically, about 80% of the lightning fatalities are male. Men and boys are four times more likely to be killed by lightning than women and girls. So why are men struck by lightning more often than women? Now I know some of you women out there have a simple explanation for this, but I really wanna look at this with a more scientific approach. In general, here are some of the reasons why people, both men and women, are struck by lightning. First, they may not understand the dangers of lightning, or they may choose just to ignore those dangers. They may not realize that a storm is approaching, or they may wait too long to start heading to safety. And finally, they simply may not be able to get to a safe place before the lightning threat arrives. Now, let's take a look at some of the activities where men contribute most to the lightning fatalities. Men account for 90% of the work-related fatalities. These include activities such as farming, ranching, roofing, construction, and commercial lawn and landscaping. These are all occupations where men dominate the workforce. For these fatalities, there may be a reluctance to stop soon enough to avoid the threat. For leisure-related activities, fishing topped the list. Men accounted for 93% of these fatalities. Again, fishing is a male-dominated activity. The sound of the motor on a boat may have drowned out the sound of an approaching storm, or they may have been far from safety and waited too long before heading back. Men also dominated the sports-related lightning deaths with 89% of the fatalities. Most likely, they either didn't know a storm was approaching or they chose to ignore the threat and then waited too long to head to safety. Now, let's take our previous list of why people are struck by lightning and turn it into a list of how people, particularly men, can avoid being struck by lightning. First, understand the dangers of lightning. And if thunderstorms are in the forecast, consider canceling or postponing the activity especially if you wouldn't be able to get to safety immediately. If you do go out, continue to listen to the forecast and monitor weather conditions. Don't ignore any signs of a developing or approaching storm. And if the sky looks threatening or you hear thunder, get to a safe place immediately. So whether you're a man or a woman, boy or a girl, summer is a great time to enjoy the outdoors, but please do so safely. For more information on lightning and lightning safety, please visit our website at lightningsafetycouncil.org. And thank you for listening.